everybody, this is Alessandra. Welcome to my home, welcome to my kitchen. A few years back, I took a uh, class in French desserts, and this was one of the cakes I learned how to make, and I want to share it with you. Take a look at it. Let's make together this delicious pear tart. Una bella crostata di pera e mandorle. The ingredients are, right here for the crust, I have eight ounces of all-purpose flour, one stick of butter, which is four ounces, extremely cold. I put it in a freezer just 30 minutes before I need to use it. I have two ounces of sugar, a, tea, a teaspoon of salt, one egg, and a little cup with some ice water. We're just going to be using it a teaspoon at a time. Now, let's move over here, and this is going to be part of the filling and the pears that go on top, okay? So, right here we have four ounces of almond flour, four ounces of sugar, I have a teaspoon of vanilla, I have three eggs, one stick, four ounces of very soft butter, I left it out a couple of hours. Then we have our beautiful pears, these are pears in a can. And I have about eight of them. So I opened up two cans and I took whatever looked great. I wanted a perfect pair. Some of the small pieces I removed, I'm just going to eat them on the side. And then right here we have two tablespoons of apricot jam, which we're going to use to glaze the top. So let's get started with the crust first because it needs to um, rest in the refrigerator and get cold a little bit. And then we'll make the filling be also done by hand but if you have a food processor it's definitely the easiest way to do it first thing let's beat the egg and just set it on the side flour goes in the salt and the sugar <laughs> Find the pulse, okay. pulse it now what we're going to do is Slowly add a piece of the cold butter at a time and continue pulsing. What you want to achieve is a very sandy mixture. I'll show you. I'll add all the uh, the butter in and then I'll show you what it needs to look like. See that? All the butter is well incorporated with the flour. Now we're going to add the Egg. Let's get it on low and a little bit. I'm going to add the egg right in. Okay. And let's stop it and take a look. See, it's still, it hasn't come together. So what I'm going to do now is add the ice water. I'm going to add one tablespoon and give it a mix. One didn't do it, we're gonna add another one in. Come and take a look. No, it still needs just a little bit more water to come together. So I'm just gonna give it half a Half a tablespoon. Now, a lot has to do with the, uh, um, if it's a rainy day and there's a lot of moisture in the air, how big your egg was. This was a large egg. So I'm just going to add a half a tablespoon and try it again. Okay, perfect. See it? You see now it's, it's come, it came together beautifully. This is exactly what you want it to look like. Let's move it over to the table. Okay, you gotta work quickly because this is the dough that needs to um, not get hot, not get overworked. So this is what we're going to do is fold the bowl. I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit of flour. It's gonna pick it up and become very smooth, okay? Again, if the measurements are correct, that's why this doesn't go by cups. This has to be uh, weighed measurements uh, because you need to be exact. Otherwise, it's just the outcome of the tart is not going to be great. Okay, 
This is what I'm going to do now. Just create a bowl and flatten it out. It will make it easier later for rolling. And what I'm going to be using, please let me move this out of the way, is a tart plate. This is 11 inches. I suggest you go between 10 and 11 inches, not small and not bigger, because the dough needs to be that exact thickness because it's got to cook through. If it's a 9 inch or an 8 inch, it's going to be too thick and be raw. If it's a, a 12 inch or larger, you're not going to have enough to roll out. Okay, let's get a uh, plastic wrap on it and put it in the fridge. Gently, just roll it like this. Roll it and leave it in the fridge till it gets a little hard again and it's easier to roll it out. In the mixer, let's add the sugar and butter and let's get it whipped nice and light and fluffy and until it turns a pale yellow in color. Gently scrape the sides and move it towards the center. See that? How light and fluffy it is? Now let's go ahead and add the vanilla. Now we're going to add one egg at a time. Let the egg get very well incorporated before adding the new one. Now let's go ahead and add the almond flour one tablespoon at a time. Remember to always scrape the sides. Stop your machine and just scrape the sides so it all gets very well. Here it goes. It's all ready. Look at it. Beautiful, light and fluffy, okay? Now set it on the side. This is what we're going to do. Set this on the side. Oven at 325. It needs to be a little lower, otherwise 350 uh, cooks it and then leaves the bottom of the crust raw. So let's move this to the side. Let me get the uh, crust out of the fridge and let's roll it out. Okay, let's get this rolled out. You see there was a reason why I already made it. Nice and uh, round like this. Just sprinkle some flour on the work surface, also on top. And let's just gently, don't hit it hard or gently just roll it out and turn. Okay, now this is a ceramic uh, mattarello, rolling pin. The mattarello is in Italian. So what I, the reason why I like this and thank you to my friend Sabrina that gifted me this, I like to keep it in the fridge before I roll the dough out so it, it avoids the butter uh, melting. Okay. Now you want to make sure you always have a dusting on the, on the work counter so like that it doesn't stick. Roll it on your rolling pin, move your pie plate right underneath it, and this is, you're going to pick it up gently and move it right over. Like, don't stretch, just give it a little bit of room like this, okay? There we go. Perfect. Okay, now work, give it, you know, like move it in because you see there's the pockets there. So you want to make sure. See, Look, right here it broke a little bit. Don't worry, we'll patch it up, you'll see. It's very, very simple. See, just like this, take a little piece of the hanging dough and just put it right there, it's fine, like that. Perfect. To do this, you could either take a sharp knife and just go right over the top, or what I like to do is this. With my rolling pin, go right over, look at that. See that? How wonderful? And how quick? There you go. Look. And you still have dough left over. Perfect. Now, this dough left over, absolutely we're going to use it for something else. What I'm going to do is just pour the mixture inside the crust. Smooth it out. Okay, so now... 
it's all nicely it's all leveled out now what we're going to do is add the pear in a decorative style smaller one outside and here it goes it's ready for the oven 325 40 to 45 minutes with the leftover dough we're going to make walnut and fig jam tarts I have these wonderful small tart uh, rings so uh, I'm just gonna roll it right on see just like this the first one I'm gonna cut right around it okay then the next one too just cut right around it Here, look stretch it out and got six of them perfect fig jam in okay I'm gonna spread it a little bit say about a, a tablespoon in each of the cup okay and a nice guerrillo di noce that's what it's called in Italian and now I cannot remember in English a walnut half but in Italian, it's guerrillo di noce. What a beautiful word. The oven too. Look at them. Very, very cute. Out of the oven, take a look at the color. It's perfect. Now I've um, placed the apricot jam in the microwave for 15 seconds, not more than that. Well, depends also on the power of microwave and with a brush just uh, add on the apricot jam what that does is it gives it a beautiful shine because like I always say l'occhio vuole la sua parte it needs to look pretty to taste delicious che profumo it smell the aroma is divine absolutely divine okay I'm gonna remove it and plate it and then we'll cut it together. Here it is, we're all done. These are the beautiful little small tarts we made with the fig and walnut jam. Let's open this baby up and taste it together. Take a look at that. Okay, here it goes. See, let's take a look. I'm not gonna say it's delicious. You need to make this. Please make it. Please subscribe, hit the bell button to be notified. Lots of recipes coming up. Thank you for watching. The channel is growing beautifully and I'm beyond happy. And uh, it makes me so happy to share my recipes. Grazie, alla prossima. Arrivederci. Ciao, ciao.